Hey, what's going on guys? Today I've got some baseball hitting drills for youth players. And in fact, I've got six baseball hitting drills for youth players that I'm going to share with you today. And these are great hitting drills for the younger guys. The first one is going to be the mini ball swings. Uh, these balls are small, like a golf ball size. You can get them in the wiffle ball or the foam type golf ball. And they're great to work on hand-eye coordination for the younger player. What I like to do is have someone toss from out front like a front toss, um, and you can kind of just dart them in there, or you can underhand them at first. Uh, you, it depends on the player's ability and skill level, but it's really great for the younger players because to hit this very small ball, they have to really focus on it and work on their hand-eye coordination. Once they get good at using their regular bat, you can switch over to a skinny bat. Now this is just a PVC pipe. You can get fancy and put some bat tape on this and make it the same weight. This is the actual uh, length of a bat for me. Um, but imagine your youth player taking this and hitting this. They have to have great hand-eye coordination, not to mention these things move around a lot in the wind um, because they're so light. So if your player can hit this mini wiffle ball with this skinny bat, he's doing a really good job. So that's the first baseball hitting drill for youth players that I really like. The second drill, let's go over here to the tees. I call this the new fence drill. You guys all have done the fence drill where you put your bat up against your belly and to the fence and try to swing without hitting the fence. Well, we're gonna add a few elements into that. And this is a great baseball hitting drill for youth players as well because what I see a lot of youth players do is when they start to swing, they get real long and outside the ball and end up hitting a lot of ground balls to their pull side because they're getting out and rolling over. So this drill helps fix that. What you're gonna do on this drill is do the same as the old fence drill, but you're gonna add two tees to it. You can start without this tee and just have the tee with the ball, but you're gonna put it about four to six inches away from the fence, okay? This is gonna make sure that your player doesn't get out and around, because if he does, he's gonna hit that fence. So it's gonna make him start inside with the hands okay when he gets good at doing that also what the the uh the goal of this drill is trying to hit this ball straight down the fence line okay so when he gets good at that then you can implement in the next tee because some guys will get too long back here right so now if you've got this tee and you've got the fence here a player cannot get long he's got to stay inside of this here without hitting it and then also stay inside of here without hitting it but not getting inside too much to where he's hitting balls into the fence. He wants to try to shoot a line drive right down the fence line. Let me try it right here, see if I can not mess it up. Getting in a good stance. I'm trying not to hit this tee, I'm trying to hit that ball straight down the line. Not too bad, a little bit to the right, but I'll take it all day long. The next drill we're gonna do, baseball hitting drill for youth players, is the stop at contact drill. Um, what we're gonna do on this drill is we're just gonna take swings into a mat or into a pad, and we're gonna stop at our contact point and check ourselves. So when I get set up, I'm gonna get it into a good stance. I want my front, my front foot to have room for a stride, um, but I also wanna be close enough to the mat or the tire or whatever you're hitting into to uh, make sure I got a good contact point. So I'm gonna get set up, take a swing, boom, stop and then check myself. A few things you wanna check is your body angle. So I wanna have this body angle leaning over this way. I don't wanna be straight up. I also want my back knee to be directly under my head. I wanna have a good uh, position on my back foot. I don't wanna to be too rolled over. I see a lot of young players rolled over on their back foot. I wanna be nice and strong. Straight front leg, hands above the barrel, head on the baseball, and just check those things. So I swing. Boom, go through my checkpoint. Good, hands, head, front leg, back leg, back foot, body angle, good, repeat. Boom, check them. And it's great if your youth player can have a coach there to keep an eye on that while he's working on that. The next baseball hitting drill for youth players is gonna be back toss. Back toss is a great hitting drill for youth guys. And I would encourage you to stop doing uh, soft toss, which is tossing it from the side. So if my coach or, or parent were right there, tossing it here and hitting, 
I would encourage you to implement back toss instead of soft toss. It's basically the same exact drill, except the coach is gonna be taking balls from here. If this is my home plate and my hitter, I'm gonna be back here and just tossing balls forward, okay? The coach has to have good timing with this and not try to throw it too far out. The player wants to make sure he stays back but gets his hands extended through the ball. So he's gonna be trying to time it and getting through this ball and hitting it out front and trying to hit the ball on the same plane that the ball's coming in. So if the coach is throwing it straight up the middle this way, the batter wants to continue that line drive out to center field. If the coach throws it across the plate this way, the batter wants to continue it out to right field. If the coach throws it across inside, the batter wants to continue it out to left field. So that's another great baseball hitting drill for youth players. The next drill is gonna be the bucket drill. And this is another great baseball hitting drill for youth players because a lot of youth hitters don't use their legs well enough. In this drill, all you're gonna do is first have the batter get set up on the plate where he would normally be hitting. For me, that's about right here. Once I feel comfortable, on hitting this ball off of the tee. I'm gonna make sure the bucket is right behind me and then I'm just gonna sit down on it. Now, what you wanna do as a hitter here is as you're coming up, you're kinda of loading back but not over your back leg. You still wanna stay inside of your back leg but then stay low as you go to hit. I don't wanna get here and come straight up and hit. I wanna stay nice and low and get a good stride and keep everything fluid while I'm hitting. So it's gonna look a little something like this. Feet underneath, knees in, stay low, strike, and hit. The last baseball hitting drill for youth players is gonna be the Frisbee drill. I don't have a Frisbee here with me today, but you can use a bucket top if you have it. This bucket top might not work so great because it's pretty deep, but normal bucket tops are pretty flat. So if you have a Frisbee or a bucket top, you can use those. Put your hands together right here. You're gonna get set up in your normal stance, and then all you're gonna do is take a swing. You're trying to get this Frisbee to fly straight out in a line drive, slightly upwards, just as if you hit a good line drive to the field. Taking your swing. If, you're, if your Frisbee's too wobbly or dying right down, you're, ro you're probably rolling over. You wanna stay through it and extend out just as you would in a good swing. So those are the six baseball hitting drills for youth players. I hope you guys like that. If you want my full list of baseball hitting drills, click the link below and I'm gonna send you over there. I've got 30 plus great hitting drills that you can check out. So go there now, check it out. If you like this video, please share it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks.